Welcome back everybody. I have just finished rewiring this generator head from 120 to 240 volts. So we're gonna run another fuel economy test and find out how many kilowatt hours we can put into the battery bank using one gallon of diesel fuel. Here we go. Hi everyone, I'm David and I'm on a mission to take my house and garage off grid. Now in winter, that means running a generator. So this winter, and it's the middle of January right now, I've been running a lot of fuel economy tests, trying to find out which one is gonna be most efficient for recharging the battery bank. Now this generator I'm about to run the fuel economy test on uh, used to be a light tower. It was a Wacker Newson. It has a three cylinder Kohler diesel engine with a six KVA generator head. Now I bought it pretty cheap uh, because the lights didn't work. Uh, so I removed the lights but the generator head does work just fine. Now, set up from the factory, this was a 120 volt generator head. All right, so here's the control panel, and we have a main circuit breaker, which is 50 amps. Then we have two smaller circuit breakers. These are 30 amps each. They were designed for controlling a pair of lights. Now, this is actually the third video in the series on this generator. Uh, the first video, I took the 120 volts uh, straight out of this, and uh, ran a fuel economy test on that. Uh, second video, I hooked it up to a transformer. And now the third video, I decided to really try to see if I could rewire it. And it turned out to be incredibly easy to change it over to 240 volts. Uh, I thought it was gonna be more challenging. The manual didn't talk about how to do it at all, uh, but it turns out it was pretty easy. So I'll put up uh, some shots here. This was the wiring uh, first at 120 volts only, and this is now the second wiring. I hope I got it correct. I'm sure everybody will let me know in the comments if I got it wrong. So I took the wire coming off the stator marked one, and that's gonna be my L1. Uh, the wire marked four is gonna be my L2, and the wires marked two and three, I paralleled together, they're under the same screw, and those are serving as both the neutral and the ground. Uh, the chargers that I'm using don't care about the neutral. There is no neutral connection. Uh, so we're just gonna be using the two hot legs. This is the charger I'll be using. It's an EG4 charge verter. Works great, I love it. In fact, this is the second one I've purchased and that is the first one over there. Now yesterday, once I finished rewiring it, I did run a test just to make sure nothing would blow up. During that test, I had the charger set to 100 amps and unfortunately, the voltage coming out of this continued to sag slowly over time, it kept going down, 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 I mean, starting at 240, and eventually it was like at a 210 volts or something before I finally shut it off. Uh, so unfortunately, setting the charger to 100 amps is just too much draw from this system. It might have something to do with the capacitor or the power factor of these chargers, not really sure. This is a brand new capacitor that I replaced in this unit, so I don't think the capacitor is faulty. Just like in the past videos, I have my little measuring cup here as my external fuel tank. The supply and return hoses are in there. Uh, diesels have two hoses. One is the supply, one's the return, uh, because the diesel fuel is both a lubricant and a coolant for the injectors. I filled this container up a little bit beyond five quarts so that we can run it for a few minutes, warm everything up, uh, make sure that we're uh, running good. We have all the air bubbles out. Once the fuel level reaches five quarts, I will start the timer and reset the history on the Victron shunt. This is the Victron smart shunt. This is how we'll measure all the power flow into the battery, which is just beyond the garage door. And we'll be monitoring this with the app on my phone. So whatever losses we have in the charger uh, or the cords or anything like that, it's all being taken into account. Uh, we're just measuring uh, fuel in to kilowatt hours into the battery. All right, and with that, let's start the test.
there we go. Measure right there, 160. For our history. Zero. Right there, we've got one gallon used. An hour and 40 minutes. Let's see what we did. 8.4 kilowatt hours. So 8.4 kilowatt hours. And we maintain voltage really well on this test. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, great results, 8.4 kilowatt hours. I mean, that is fantastic. So we were able to put 8.4 kilowatt hours into the battery per one gallon of diesel fuel. That is the best we've had yet. <laughs> That's better than my uh, 831 army generator. Uh, so that is great. The best results we've had so far. Uh, I'm just thrilled. <laughs> you know, just, just sitting here looking at the engine, I realized that I haven't changed out the air filter. I've changed the coolant and the oil and the oil filter and the fuel filter, but I haven't changed the uh, air filter yet. So I'm gonna get to that as soon as this video is done. Well, this has just been so much fun running these fuel efficiency tests. Uh, it's mid-January that I'm filming this right now. Uh, and so we're not gonna need the generators much longer. Typically in February, I don't have to run the generators because the days get a little longer, so we get a little bit more solar. It's still very cold in February, so the panels actually produce really well in the cold. Uh, so I don't suspect that I'll be needing this much longer. Uh, now this winter has just been running the generators for power, just electricity. But next winter, I hope to tap off this uh, upper radiator hose. Hopefully we'll do some kind of combined heat and power system and use some of the heat from it. But, you know, that'll be a summer project to set that up uh, for next winter. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Right here, we'll take this off. Again, this is the 50 amp main circuit breaker, but we're gonna move it to a 30 amp.